Simon. Today I am so excited that I can finally change your saved name in my phone to husband and to be able to say things like, oh, that's my husband over there. Yes, the one with the excellent dance moves. Or yes, that's my husband over there, the one reluctantly wearing the West Coast Eagles scarf. In the end, getting married is really just a way of telling the people you know and the people that you love most in your life what you already know, that I've found a person that makes my heart so happy and I've picked them forever to have adventures with. Good afternoon, everyone. We're so lucky to be here on Wadjuk land on a beautiful afternoon to give recognition to the worth and beauty of a love between two amazing people. No one can tell me my fortune cause I'm fortunate enough. You can call me out though, call out all of my blood. First thing in the morning, for your feet touch the floor. Oh, you can see the glory. Maddie is incredibly hard working, generous, fiercely protective, and loyal to her family, friends, and workmates. In the words of a friend of mine, who's an ex-SAS commander, Maddie is someone you want by your side in times of trouble and adversity. Consequently, when Maddie introduced us to Simon at a restaurant, we both noticed at once he had a quality our family needed desperately. Height. There's been a pretty constant theme across the speeches tonight. Maddie, beautiful and elegant, intelligent and thoughtful, generous and caring. The only thing to do is to publicly acknowledge what I've known for a very long time, that Maddie is well and truly out of my league. Simon is a thorough gentleman, likeable on first meeting, easy going and a good bloke. He's fitted in from day one, with the exception that much like Tom Cruise's co-stars, he must stand in a trench for family photos. Watching them together, they seem completely relaxed in each other's company. Many people have suggested to Monica and I that they're the perfect couple. To Maddie and Simon. First we were colleagues and next door neighbours, then we became friends. And now, in about 15 minutes time, we will be husband and wife. It would have been easy for us to ignore our feelings or let it go, but we took a chance on each other and we fell in love. And now I'm pinching myself that I get to spend my life with you. You are beautiful and sweet and small. Needless to say, those words are not used to describe me. But together, I think we are the ultimate team and it all just works. There are a lot of ups in life and inevitably there'll be some downs as well, but there's no challenge we can't overcome together and there are so many exciting times ahead. I love you. And Maddie, the journey you have been on to get to where you are today and your attitude in approaching life with such optimism makes me deeply proud. You are my best friend and I feel so lucky to be standing by your side today watching you experience such true happiness. When I found you, I thought that I had already had all of the love that I was going to have in my lifetime. But you were the love that I never saw coming and you had my heart before I could say no. 
Every day you remind me why love like this one is the very best part of life and so worth risking your heart for. I have never known a happiness more effortless than the one that I have found with you. I love you endlessly. Lastly, and most importantly, to my beautiful wife, it is part of the course that you look stunning today and that every part of the day has been perfect. I feel like we've been there for a while now, but how good to make it official and kick off married life tonight with so many family and friends. I would like to make a toast to my beautiful wife. Maddie and Simon, we wish you a lifetime of laughter, of daily wonder and of a love that grows deeper each day. It is now my joy, honour and privilege to pronounce you as husband and wife. You may now kiss. <laughs>